Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and, and we are Funny, Funny Jesse. Jesse. Today we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here um, We're gonna do Prophet Lovi prophesize to a Muslim. So without any further ado guys, let's get it I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. I, are you going to listen to me now? Uh -huh. Amen. I, I'm trying to help you. Your heart is good but there are men <coughs> planning to destroy you. Listen to me. I don't speak unless God speaks to me. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Any business to do with gold, hear me and hear me carefully. Avoid if you have not vetted <coughs> and looked at it. Are you hearing me? Uh, what is it? Yes or no? Uh -huh. Do you deal with gold or no? Uh -huh. So listen to me. Are you listening to me? Listen to me. Uh -huh. Be careful. Because there are three men. One, two, three. White or black? Eh? I'm going to tell you, these are actually black men. There's two black men, one Middle Eastern man. Are you hearing me? Two men black, one Middle Eastern man. Are you hearing me? They will bring you some business, but they are going to trap you. They give me fake one. Uh -huh. And make you seem like you're doing business and you will vouch for it. But then I am seeing you going into Dubai. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yes. And I am seeing the immigration arresting you because of an illegal deal that you didn't even know. They trapped you. Any business to do with gold, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me carefully. I'm trying to save you. If you have not vetted it, mean verify it to the source i do that for a long time uh -huh. that's why you should listen to me <laughs> uh -huh. verify it to the core if you don't verify it well the goal is for them to mess you up this coming year pray yeah, amen. Amen. are you hearing me yes, seek god very well if I were you, I would be telling Jesus, hey, give me grace and mercy so that I can survive this. Amen. Amen. Because Muhammad is not saving you right now. It's Jesus saving you. He's telling me about you. No, they are not saying Jesus is not a prophet. Jesus is God. Amen. I am telling you this because he's telling me. He's the one telling me about you. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. You didn't tell me you do gold. I'm the one who is telling you. So I am telling you so that you can be safe. So that when you see this men and you see these three people and you see the deal proposed to you you clean your hands and you get on your knees and say thank you god for saving my life Amen. there's a lot of people depending on you if your life is destroyed a lot of people will suffer but worst of all is your own life you yourself suffering are you hearing me so i want god to help you so that one day you will stand and you will say ah God loved me enough to save me. Because what was going to happen to you if you didn't have this information I'm telling you was going to be devastating. Was going to be devastating. So how to how to how to make how I'm gonna do to just know how to how are you going to do it? When they bring deals to you, number one, look for these three people. I just have a deal like three million, so that's what I was about to go. She told me to come today. Uh -huh. Pray. <laughs> Prophesy. Prophesy. Are you hearing me? Pray. Yeah, I will pray for you. But don't talk when prophet is talking. You just have to say yes, yes. no, yes. Let me make sure, verify. Because right now, the reason why they want to trap you is they know. You see, you've been successful before. But right now, things are not good. Things are dry right now. They are not the way it used to be. So your hunger for you to do this is where they're going to trap you from. So you have to be careful. Don't be too, you know what, this has to go through because things I need to bring back. Ah, be careful because you may end up in a worse position than you were before. 
Let me pray for you now. Are you ready for me to pray for you? Yeah, of course, that's why I'm here. Okay, close your eyes. Father, stretch your hands towards him. Father, give him the grace. Give him the mercy. Give him protection. And give him wisdom that he may escape the snare you have set for him. Father, he came believing. 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 That you see him but today he has discovered that jesus knows him that lord even though he's a muslim let him know the power that is in your son that god you have rescued him that he will avoid this prison that satan wants to destroy him with that he will avoid this trouble that his heart will come to you help my brother in jesus name jesus. amen clap your hands I was thinking to myself, I was having two different thoughts to just come in. This is just like an hypothesis. What if these two men met prior to what is happening right here and they scripted all this and now they presented it all to us? For us to see and believe that this thing is real or something like that you know? and again on the other side i'm like it might be real but how real can it be do you understand why is it that um just i don't know yeah i i know uh what do you call this um in the holy texts i mean the bible and whatnot there were prophets and they were according to the text they were actually talking to God somehow directly or maybe getting information from God and then prophesying to the people. Might that be the same thing that we are seeing today with these pastors who are speaking to God directly and then prophesying to people <laughs> and whatnot? But why would God just talk to a prophet and not talk to you directly? Do you understand? Is it that so maybe your understanding to them directly huh? back then? You what? just said in the Bible he would speak to certain people and go tell you something. Yes. It's the same thing. So maybe it's just the same thing happening now also. Uh, anyway, I mean, you know, some people can tell you things about you, things that maybe you might not know. And some that you know. Yeah, and some that you might actually know, some you don't know. And then, I mean, you find yourself finding your own path through what they've told you. Do you understand? And maybe those people are prophets a prophet doesn't mean just someone who's standing in the in the altar it can be just any random person who just walks by and tells you about something about you really yeah i believe so i believe not just the people who are standing in front of you they're prophets i believe prophets are everywhere around us even any i i, I feel like you can meet anyone and they can tell you something about yourself and then you're like not really certain of what he's saying but you can understand this is really um true about myself and then he's telling you things that probably is going to happen to you and then the next thing you don't see him anymore do you understand who are these people who just appear and reappear in your life and you never see them anymore you know so i don't know these things are really hard to tell especially pastor lovey um no, they call him Prophet Lovey. I don't know. I feel like it's really hard to tell whether it's a true prophet or if it's just a prophet of doom. Do you understand? The teachings are good, but when it comes to other things, I don't agree that much. You know? Uh, I mean, you can listen to the teachings. They're good. So you're yeah, agreeing with the way he preaches and everything. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, there, yeah, there are some teachings that are really good. But you're not fine with his prophecies and all that just like you you don't just listen to to pick i mean you can pick what take, i mean take things that he says with a grain of salt don't just take everything because if you take everything then you're putting yourself in that level of vulnerability do you understand and then you become too emotional over certain things i think it's just more like just take what you can do your own research the most important thing is if you can go within yourself you'll have all the answers you don't need anyone to 
prophesy about your life or anything. But maybe you're saying that because you can't relate. Do you understand that people yeah, have got maybe. such churches where well, these things are normal. Yeah. That'd Why you used your pastors telling you such things like you have to go to church and hear something like yeah, okay, true. just say this funny that and it's normal to them. They really believe in such a lifestyle. Yeah. I don't know. I'll just sit out here because we reacted to this before and I don't we know did, what yeah. happened. But today I was thinking it's nice to see a Muslim in church. Yeah. That just was, like uh, it's nice to see Christians going to the mosque. Do you understand? I really wonder why he was there though. For him to attend the service, I would think maybe he would go after the service so that he has his own private time to practice Islam. But again, that's something that it's really hard to for a Muslim to go to church. Do you know what that takes for him to go to church? Yeah, that's the thing. So you know? what was going on here? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. But I really had the two points that, oh, Muhammad is what? Not God? Muhammad and Jesus are different? He said, no, he said, but, but, but Jesus is a prophet no he said something and then well, anyway, I'm just the guy said something then he said that no um jesus is not a prophet he's god i don't understand anyway that point and the other point dream pray you're praying for christ's sake mm. you don't have to say even if he's muslim even if he's very unnecessary very very unnecessary if you're going to pray for someone just pray for them have a good heart that doesn't have to show to other people ah even if this person is what and pray for them, no, just pray for them. Stick to the prayer points and forget whether he's Muslim, Christian. Yeah, those labels should yes, just labels. stay stay far away from. Because this is something that was was created by man. You know, all so, this religious whatever thing was just created. I was wondering, in today's, I don't know. I know we live in a world full, full of miracles, but I feel like the business is oversaturated with um what's it a prophet he's a prophet yeah yeah even children that are six year old are telling yeah, yeah. things and they just go with it do you understand which is i don't know you have to gain some certain wisdom wisdom comes with with age you know and does it really age or experience though and also experience but i'm thinking because when you say experience what about the young kid who is trying to but i'm thinking i'm thinking it comes with age because the more you live the more you experience i think you so it depends yeah. no, no, no. but again also it depends with the kind of difficulties you're in you can experience more in one year and someone who has lived 90 years hasn't experienced that much but anyway i think it correlates to i mean it goes all the same age and experience is one thing that wisdom comes with another thing also wisdom it's been given to you by uh, the creator himself, you know. It just puts it on you so that you can impact other people or you can solve things on this earth and fulfill your your um, your destiny and whatnot. So um, what I can say about this thing, the, uh, the whole video is that first thing, Muslim in charge, kudos, that's good. We need to see more of this. And what I like about it is that he didn't try to convert him to become a Christian. He just let him be. He just told him about Jesus is God. He just told him about uh, since you're here, you came to the house of God. That means Jesus chose you and is about to help you focus on him at that particular moment. He didn't try to convert him into whatever, uh, to Christianity or whatnot, which is something that every true leader of religion should should be practicing not when you just just see someone and the first thing you want to convert them do you understand no understand the story listen and understand where he or she is coming from do you understand there's a few no i think on a friday was it yesterday i was working one of the guy who came in i noticed he was a muslim and he the first thing he sat down he wanted me to help him with my normal job. He wanted me to help him with um, not help. He came in for uh, what do you call it? for consultancy, something like that. So uh, maybe like 30 seconds of me talking, he asked me, "Are you a Muslim?" And my response was, "I'm not a Muslim. Neither 
am I a Christian? So why did he ask them? That's the question. So and then he was he went in and saying, Your brother, you're not Muslim, my brother. So for me, um I tried to change the story and whatnot. But anyway, I don't know why people just you don't know anyone, you just met someone in the fa first day and the first question you ask is, Are you a Muslim? Are you Christian? Do you understand? So you feel like he was trying to convert you or what? No, no it, it's a form of it's a form of conversion somehow but what i'm trying to say is this can we just be people who just communicate without trying to trying to find to limit ourselves yes because of the religion yes because of religion because the moment i say okay yes i'm a christian then there are certain way of thoughts that will uh, kind of go through you that like a level of judgment yeah thoughts which are level of judgments is going to be more of let me not talk to this guy because he's of certain kind. So I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be like that. And I don't know. This is why maybe we have so much differences when it comes to the world today. People are, there's so much division. We should come all together. Come to church, go to the mosque, learn one or two things. Let's move in together. Let's, you know, let's intermarry. Let's, you know, all those kind of things. And let us know what you guys think about this video and everything that you've seen in it uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video. And